Among the many things to um, admire Irving Leighton for as a poet is the fearlessness with which he approached subject matter in his poetry. The sparks fly. One. I go about making trouble for myself. The sparks fly. I gather each one and start a poem. Two. On the waxed twine of her affection, her mouth goes up and down like a yo-yo. Three. Wives, woman friends, something in me will not let them rest. What a queer universe this is when it takes three marriages to produce a seasoned poet. Four, she was pregnant and spoke of air currents in her chest. When I bent down to kiss her, she made a rude noise and smiled. What would Tennyson make of this? <laughs> or that idiot, Elliot? <laughs> Five, the school where I teach is the brand pan of civilization. For kicks, I sometimes speak the lines of a poet to the caged, astonished dimwits, <laughs> then wait for the gibbonous screech. <laughs> Six, <coughs> the smell of a religious woman past her menopause. No star, I'm sure, ever smelled like this, no living flower. Seven, why can't I let them die in their swamps, the sunless Presbyterians of this country, <laughs> peacefully, peacefully, not stir them up with my stick or pole? Phew, what a stink arises, what fetid, multicolored insects strike my head. Eight, the orgasmless woman of Hampstead. <laughs> Why must I always press them to abandon their husbands and unsatisfactory lovers or their deplorable tastes in literature? Nine, she thinks if she labels the poison love, it will not disorder my blood or make my hair and teeth fall out. The bitch, whom does she think she's kidding? 10, their everyday politics is diseased sex. They had a trifle more health if they had a trifle more health, they'd vote for an early death. 11, I heard three shitbirds in council whistle and chirk while a castrato stood before them, shaped like a tuning fork. 12, the last spark of the poem. Ah, the dung beetles that want my blood Age and possessions have turned me into stone. There's no blood in a stone. Bang! Out of their crushed limbs, I also make poems. <laughs>